Now some ground rules. Um, I want to remind everyone to silence your cell phones and please do not record any speaker remarks. As you've been told earlier in our meetings, CNP meetings are off limits to the press. So please be aware of who you're talking to, especially in the hotel common areas and in the elevators. Don't grant any interviews. And if you run into a reporter asking questions about the event, please let a member of the CNP staff or leadership team know immediately. This is a story of betrayal and paranoia, of false prophecies, and how a declining elite desperately tried to make them true. The world of politics is invariably imperfect and replete with compromises. How tempting it is to shield our principles from degenerating contact with such untidiness. Never mind that we simultaneously insulate the real world from the ennobling effect of practical contact with our principles. This is the story of a tiny group of judges, lawyers, holy men, politicians, media moguls, oil companies, tobacco companies, advertising firms, gun runners, mercenaries, and financial consultants who created a dense and powerful network that has reshaped American society from top to bottom. This is a story of one of the oldest and most effective organizations in the history of the conservative movement, an organization that's made a difference for America yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thank you for being a part of the Council for National Policy. The Council presides over a vast network of direct mail, talk radio, a cable news network, many new types of online communications, and literally thousands of conservative organizations capable of very quickly communicating facts, conservative opinion, and focused calls to action to thousands or millions. This summer, I invite you to the secret world of the CNP, where the donors meet the doers where the real movers and shakers of the conservative movement hatch their plans. Faithful lightning of his tail.